Amen. Oh, it's an honor. It's an honor, man of God. We love you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome someone of God, a man that I love so much, uh, my covenant brother that has been with us from yesterday until we are going to be with him until Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, help me to welcome man of God, Pastor Harrison. Amen. 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 We may have our seats in the feet of our Master Jesus Christ. Let me take this opportunity again to thank Pastor, the senior pastor of this house, Pastor Coril, together with our mom, Pastor Janice. Let us celebrate them in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Also, I want to thank Pastor Justice for coming to hear from the Lord. It is not an easy thing for a pastor to sit down to listen to the word of God. It takes God and humility. Let us celebrate him again in the name of Jesus. Let us also celebrate ourselves in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for seeing it worthy to gather us again today in this place. We know, as you say in your word, that you shall never gather Jacob in vain. We know there is something for us, and we are going to partake of it. Holy Spirit of God, may you simplify the word of God in us that we may understand it. And we pray that in the name of Jesus, that you glorify Christ in us. For we have no glory that we can show. But by your help, you can glorify him in us. That we might show it to the generation that we are living in, my Father. Even in this service. Lord, I pray that there shall be an evidence of your presence in this place. We love you and we honor you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are not going to take much time. We are going to go straight to our, our topic. Remember that we are, speaking, we are speaking concerning operating in the world of faith, operating in the world of faith. And I know uh, as we continue, we are going to experience the blessings of God. Now, today, I want to begin by saying that the same way faith is a world and it is operated well by the knowledge of God, there is another world which is a, neg a negative world called the world of fear. Hallelujah. And this world of fear is operated by the spirit we call spirit of doubt. Before anything negative befalls any man, he has to fear that thing. That's why Job said that the things which I feared the most, they have come upon me. Are we together? Now, in this world, the spiritual world, it is in two dimensions. There is a negative side and there is a positive side. Now, positive side is what we are calling the world of faith. And negative side is what we call that the world of fear. Anyone who lives under this world is being tormented by evil spirits. If you have faith, there is no evil spirit that can torment you. Hallelujah. Now, the same way these worlds are operated in two dimensions. And I want us today, we understand something briefly before we go to the next key that we are going to learn today. I want you, you uh, we, 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 we expand more in knowledge. Why am I speaking more on knowledge? Now, when you see in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 4 and verse 6, uh, God is speaking through the mouth of Isaiah, and he's saying that my people are destroyed by, by the lack 
of faith, uh, by the lack of knowledge. Are we together? Now, when you read in the book of Jeremiah chapter number 3 and verse 15, God is speaking something there powerfully. He is saying that, and I shall give you pastors who shall feed you with my knowledge. Are we together? Who shall feed you with my knowledge? Can we read there? If, if you have your Bible, and uh, if you have your Bible, let us read there. Jeremiah chapter number. Jeremiah chapter number three and verse, verse, verse fifteen. The Bible says Jeremiah three fifteen, and I will give you. Pastors, according to my acts, which shall feed you with the knowledge and understanding, which they shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. When you carry knowledge of something, you become that thing. But if you don't have any knowledge concerning anything, you can never become partaker of that thing. Amen. Are we together? Let us go to Second Peter. Someone read for us Second Peter, chapter number, chapter number one, verse two and three. Chapter number one, Second Peter, chapter number one, verse Second Peter. And we see something there. Verse 2, 3. The Bible says, uh, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Through the knowledge of God. Listen. Through the knowledge of God. Not the knowledge of miracles. Mm. Believers today, they are seeking for miracles. Yes. Listen to me. Many years after Moses had died, a man came called David. He says, oh Lord, you showed Moses your ways and you showed the sons of Israel your miracles. But they were destroyed, yet they saw miracles. But the man who saw the way, he was not de destroyed. Listen to me. There is no other man until today who has ever walked to his grave. Other people are carried to their grave. Moses walked to his grave. Amen. He was told by God, meet me in that place. Yeah. But it is your end. He walked. He went to his grave. Other people are carried to their graves. Even Jesus Christ was carried to the grave. But the man who saw the ways of God, when you see the ways of God, you become partaker of what he has. But if we give to the miracle, miracle, I need a miracle, you find someone is taking like 30 hours praying for a miracle. Stop praying for a miracle. Lord, show me your ways. Show me your ways. Amen. When you see his ways, when you become the partaker of his ways, his ways will lead to you, to your miracle. Uh -huh. Grace be multiplied to you by the knowledge of what? Of God. Of God. Not of the miracles. By the knowledge of God. Yes. When you carry the knowledge of God, you carry the grace of God. Listen to me. In the kingdom of God, in the world of faith, we don't pray for things. We grow in them. If you are, listen, yes. if you are sick, you grow to your healing. If you are poor, you grow to your riches. This is the world of faith. We don't pray for things. We grow in them. We grow to them. You need a car. You grow in your car. Because it is already there. Yes. Ephesians chapter number 1 verse 3. Blessed be God of our, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who has blessed us with all things. It is not that he will bless us. We are already blessed. But we need to grow in our blessings. Yes. 
find someone going to Cataloni for 90 days praying for miracle. From today, start seeking the knowledge of him. Listen, there is a book I'm, 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 I'm reading. It is called Psalms, chapter number 119. Psalms 119. It is a long book. I normally find myself waking up in the night to read that book. The writers of those book of that book, they are men, not one writer. Every time, Lord, show me discernment so that I can I can I can I can fulfill your law. Those are men are not seeking other things, they are seeking him. Yes. When you seek him, you find him. Yes. Hallelujah. Now <laughs> When we are speaking concerning the knowledge, before we continue with that Peter, you find in the book of Jeremiah chapter number 4 and verse 22, he is telling them, it is my knowledge that you should seek, not the knowledge of the world. The reason there is no impact at all in the body of Christ, but not here. There is no impact. There is no healings. There is no nothing. The knowledge that we are seeking for is the knowledge of this world. But he is asking us to seek for his knowledge. Are we together? Uh, you know, just, there, is, uh, there is a mwindi, ameokoka kabisa. And you come in the church... You start lecturing that Mwindi on business world. That man does not need lecturer of business. He needs the power of cross. Are we together? There are millionaires in the church. And you are busy telling people the demons of poverty are going to go away. No. Let shock them in the knowledge. In the knowledge, the demon will go. Yes. You know, yesterday I went home and I was, I was meditating on this story of Peter and John. This man, they saw that man and they told him, what you have been looking for is not your problem. We need to give you solutions so that your problem is no more again to be seen. There are people with a lot of riches. They are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of the kingdom. And when we manifest him, we can only manifest him by knowing him. Uh, let us continue, Pastor. Let us continue. Mine says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Number two, it says, According as his divine power has given unto us all things pertaining unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to the glory of all virtues. That he has given us. He has given us all things. But we protect them by the knowledge of him. He has given healing. He has given riches. He has given wisdom. He has given power. But we, we, we protect that by his knowledge. When we know him, we partake him. We become like him. We need to soak believers in knowing him. That when you are moving around, you can say, as Paul said, that the life that I'm living now, in this life, it is not my life, but the life of Christ living in me. Listen to me. It is good to, 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 to teach seven steps of coming from poverty. 27 steps from coming from your generational curses. But the easiest way to come out of them all is the knowledge. 
Second Corinthians chapter number 5 and verse 17. The Bible says, those who are in Christ Jesus, they are made new. They are new creatures. They have been created again. I was born in a certain family, but when I came to him, I was created anew. I became a new person. Now the curses of my family are not allowed to oppress me. They can oppress me in the first year, the second year. But as I continue knowing him, those curses are going to be broken. By his divine power, he has given us all things by his knowledge. Now, when we have this, this revelation, we can continue. Number two, faith is an ever-conquering force when applied on. Faith is an ever-conquering force when applied on. Imani ni uwezo amba ushinda kila mahali utakapo ekezwa. Let us look at the book of Daniel chapter number 3 and verse 28. It is a story everybody knows. It is when Nebuchadnezzar and build an, an image and he said that every person should worship this image now Daniel and his brothers never worshipped the image now the Bible says they were brought before Nebuchadnezzar and the Bible says his face was furious that his anger was seeable through his face and he told them when you hear when you hear the sound you must fall down and worship now this man told him something they told him oh king nebuchadnezzar live forever but on this matter we don't answer we know of a god who we worship he is well able to save us from your fire now they were seeing the fire they saw the fire being multiplied but that could not move them because they were living above the natural situations why they were living in the world of faith in the world of faith you live above natural situations and they were thrown in the fire but the Bible says at the end when they were pulled out of that fire their clothes were not even smelling the smoke whatever that you are passing through by faith you are coming out of it amen and you shall never smell it yes you might be poor now you are coming from poverty and you shall never smell it you might be down now but you are coming out of it and you shall never smell it men shall say is this the same person he said to me when this thing came upon jesus he returned to his own and they started asking is not this the son of joseph yeah. and mary and are not his brothers and sisters yeah. among his hearts they knew him in another fashion but when he came back yeah. he was totally another person they could see physically he is he he is he yeah. but when they see what is happening is in, in his life he was totally different person that shall be your testimony in the name of jesus i say that shall be your testimony Pastor, read for us Ephesians chapter number 6 and verse 16. <laughs> you know, I was not preparing to come to teach this. But I was compelled by the Spirit of God. I did not know that on Sunday it is the same thing. 
We did not discuss it with pastor. <laughs> uh-huh. Above all, above all, taking the shield of faith, taking the shield of faith, living in the world of faith, uh-huh. wherewith ye shall be all, shall be able to quench all the fi- the fiery, where we shall be able to quench all the fiery, uh-huh. that's of the wicked, that's of the wicked. And they take the helmet of salvation. That is enough. Now, the darts, the arrows of the wicked, they are there. Mm. They are there completely. Yes. You can see them coming. But when you operate in the world of faith, you quench them. They are coming, they are bewitching you, and you know it. But because you are operating in the world of faith, their witchcraft cannot enter you, yes. cannot consume you. Don't you remember what Jesus told his disciples? That you shall take up scorpions and you shall never be armed by any. You shall drink poisonous, but it shall, not, uh, it shall never destroy your life. This is the level of greater faith. Zaidi ya yote Zaidi ya yote Mukitwa ngao ya imani Listen Wakati uko katika dunia Ya imani Ambayo kwa hiyo mutaweza kuzima mishale yote Mutazima mishale yote Yenye moto ya yule muovu Yenye moto ya ule muovu In other words Because they are operating in the natural world When you operate in the world of faith You are above them and the faith becomes your shade Are we together? Faith becomes your shade That when they throw their arrows Yes, they are arrows of fire But the shade of, of faith blocks them Ephesians Chapter number one, verse three and four. Three and four. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians chapter number one, three and four. May blessings be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus, uh-huh. who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings into the heavenly realm in the heavenly realm in the realm of faith that is what i was telling you mm. in the realm of faith mm. that you are growing in them number three number three faith is taking responsibilities with god faith is taking responsibilities with god I want us we go back to Genesis. I show you something here. Because yesterday I told I gave you an example of two people going to the law school or they go to teachers training. And then one after being trained to become a lawyer, he goes to put a business. He has the papers of a lawyer. But you cannot call him a lawyer. You become a lawyer by the virtue of going to courts. You win some cases and you lose others, yes. but you are a lawyer. Are we together? Now, today's believers, we are professing yan tunakiri imani atuishi kwa imani. That is the difference. Equal to, but it is small faith, weak faith that it cannot produce for us. Genesis chapter number Genesis chapter number 6 chapter number 6 and verse 13 to 22 you shall read for yourself it is a long story but we are going to read Genesis 2 6 now Genesis chapter number 6 is God coming to this man called Noah he tells him that I'm going to destroy the world through rain. Now, let us hear verse 2, verse 6, so that I can connect that and we, we will be over with our second section today. I know most of us, we are running back to Job. Uh-huh. Genesis 2, 6. Genesis 2, 
Genesis chapter 2 verse number 6. Yes. But there went up a, mid, a mist from the earth. There went out a mist from the heart. Uh -huh. And watered the whole face of the ground. And watered the whole face of ground. Now, God comes to Noah. Noah has never seen rain. Clouds raining rain. He has never saw it. But God tells him there is a rain that is coming to sweep away the whole earth and everything in it. Now, this man hacks by faith. Are we together? He did not say like others. Others were saying, we have never seen the rain raining. Noah, you are mad. But God has said it. Now, when I'm saying that faith is taking responsibilities with God, it is when he tells you something. You don't negotiate. You do it. Listen, Abraham, come out of your father's house. Go to a place where I will show you. Where God? A place where I will show you. No name, no nothing. Abraham in the morning, he wakes up. He tells Sarah, pack all our belongings. We are coming out of this place. He comes again after getting a son. No negotiations. Taking responsibilities with God. He comes again after the birth of Isaac. Abraham, take your only son whom you love. Go and sacrifice him. In the night, in the morning, he takes his son, goes to sacrifice him. Today's believers, Mungu akuambie, ama kwa hiyo plot, utaanza kusema nangojie a second confirmation. And we are destroyed by that. Ama kwa hiyo plot, utaanza kusema, I'm waiting. God, you gave, you gave Gideon. You know, you, we know Bible so much. You gave Gideon three confirmation. I'm waiting for my three confirmations. Abraham was no Abraham was no waiting for any confirmation. God, have you said that I get out of my father's house? Yes. He goes. Have you said that I sacrificed my son? Yes, he goes. Uh, Noah, build an ark. There is a rain coming. Lord, I'm building it. Although I have never seen any rain, I am building it according to your word. Now, faith is taking responsibilities with God. It is a deal you take responsibility with what you know. Then you shall be able to see results. Today's believers, they negotiate everything. Oh, God, you know, my son has been chased away from school. Now, this tithe, I'm going to give like a school fee. Who told you that? Lord, you know it is raining. You understand, God? Yes, he understands. I'm not going to church today. It is raining. He knows. Today's believers don't take responsibility. They know it and they don't take responsibility. This is the, the place where I want us we pray through. The Lord give us grace from today that we shall be taking responsibilities together with you. That whatever that you command me, Lord, give me grace to do it. Give me grace to do it. I know that it is painful, but give me grace to do it. I don't know the next stairs, but Lord, give me grace to take it, although I don't see it. Let us be on our feet as we pray that prayer. And then the man of God is going to take over in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to you, you lift your hands to the Father and tell him, Lord, give me grace that I might be able to take responsibilities with your word in the name of Jesus Christ. The Father loves anyone who surrenders to him. Papa, I surrender all to you. I have come to the hand of myself, my Lord. May you live in me, King of all glory. Release the grace of taking responsibilities. Grace of taking responsibilities. In the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Release grace of taking responsibilities. In the name of Jesus. In your word, my Father, that I might take responsibilities. 
the name of Jesus. Somebody open a mouth and pray. Open a mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. Yakapaka Tolobosa. Rekata la baba. Receive yours. In the name of Jesus. On the last day, the Bible said Jesus Christ with a loud voice. And he said, Is anyone who is thirsty? Let him come and drink. Are you thirsty for him? Open your mouth and tell him, Lord, I am here. Locate me. I am here. Locate me, Lord. Give me grace. I don't see the next step, Lord, but I'm taking responsibility with you. I don't see the next step, Lord, but I am going. I am taking responsibility with you. I don't know how I shall come out of it, but Lord, commission your word. I will follow, I will follow, I will follow, I will follow wherever you need. I will follow. Mahalo Chaubo Sanitaenda, Mahalo Chaubo Sanitaenda, Yekato Pasalaba, Repokoto Posanana, Rekate Salamanda, Repoto. Sakana na 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 na, repoto to to posa, rakata la ba 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 ba, yepoko to lo 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 lo. Balada na buso, cheba la chose ya preacher, Lord I shall preach in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Balada ta la 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 la, somebody tell him, tell him, I surrender my family to you. Let your issues be void in the name of Jesus. I surrender my ministry to you. Let all souls be put to the king of In the name of Jesus, I marry all souls before the king of In the name of Jesus, we cut all the barriers. 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 Where you send us, we shall go, we shall go by faith, by faith, we shall move, by faith, we shall move, we shall never question you again, we shall take responsibility, responsibility, I'm taking the responsibility with my father, with my father, in the name of Jesus, where you send me, I shall go. Where you send me, I shall go. I shall go. Whatever you say to me, I shall do it. I shall do it. I shall do it. As you spoke to Abraham, and he took action from today. I will take steps by faith. I shall move by faith. I shall move by faith. I shall preach by faith. I shall serve you by faith. I shall go by faith. By faith. By faith. It doesn't matter what I see ahead of me. I shall move by faith. It doesn't matter what people say. I shall move by faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. We shall conquer by faith. By the knowledge we have about you. With the track record we have about you. By your word. By your word. We shall move forward in the name of Jesus. We are not limited. We are not limited. We have come to understand. According to the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, 2 to 3. Blessed is the Lord, our Father, through Christ Jesus, who has blessed us with everything. 
your blessings and for this reason we know we are already blessed it is just a matter of time we receive our blessing we have understood we are walking to a miracle we grow to our healing we grow to riches oh my lord teach us to know your ways teach us to know your ways teach us to know you in the name of Jesus we want to know you we want to know you we want to know you our knowledge about you our knowledge about you Rakuta Katete Seba Rakuta Kwanzia size with the family is born Family ambao zilikuwa zimepoteza imani wacha zianze kupona Familia zilizokuwa zimepoteza imani wacha zianze kupona ile kazi ilikuwa imepoteza amani imani kaisha chini wacha kareje wacha kareje ile ndoa imani ilikuwa imevunjika wacha kareje yote imepoteza imani wacha kaipoke sasa katika jina la Yesu may you receive power Tunoko. 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 My soul says yeah. My soul says yeah. My soul says yeah. As we have heard your word, let it transform us to be better believers, to be better and to serve you well in the kingdom. Lord, I pray that any curses by the knowledge of your word, let it be removed. Everything that was said, every barrier that was placed against our lives, Lord, I declare by the knowledge of your word, because your word says that we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. Lord, that the truth is that it is a deliverance. And we declare, Lord, let every barrier be removed by the knowledge of your word. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you glory. And we give you honor. Thank you for your servant. Thank you for using him for us and for this generation. We pray, Lord, that you continue sending your word upon his life. Continue ministering to him. We give you glory. Thank you for everybody that is watching and those who are here, Lord. Let this word shape their destinies. In Jesus' name, we pray. Believe and trusting. Somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What a powerful word.